just you don't understand that's okay because I'm teaching something right now I'm I'm I'm, I'm talking about something that I really know a lot about there's a couple ways that you can there's a few ways you can approach approach playing a StarCraft series there's direct knowledge and general knowledge which I would I would call like um specific plays and counters versus principles. Um, right, if, if, if your opponent's going for like a, a queen roach ravager type of all in against like a void ray opener, Right, you might be like, okay, in this type of situation, what I need to do is pull my void rays, have enough shield batteries, I have to save my overcharge as long as possible, I need my batteries spread, my overcharge has to be on a battery that they can't quite reach, I have to have a few cannons in there as well, I have to make sure that the my natural and my third have good defense, right, that type of thing. This is the type of, where it's like, okay, this is specifically what I'm going to do here. But the thing is, it, you, you can only hold so much of that in your head at one time, <clears throat> okay? Uh, which is why you want to pull everything back to actual understanding and actual principles. Uh, the principle is like they, you hit your critical mass of void rays and they're not going to be able to transfuse through it, and, right? It's, like, it, it's, it's about scaling and critical mass would be the principles to hold that. It almost, yeah, it, it makes me... It makes me wonder about it, right? Because it's like these fundamental things that are so important within StarCraft, but even pro gamers get them wrong all the time. I commentate so many games, and all the time I'm finding people break fundamental principles within the game, and that's why they lose. And it's like, oh, I mean, in this situation, all you have to do is outscale your opponent, and you win. 